Um, uh, I've been asked to go into politics and, and I'd never do such a scuzzy job. I mean, I can't think of one example of a musician who's gone into politics who's ever done anything worthwhile. There's not one. Look at Peter Garrett. You know that Australian monkey with the bald head who sung for Midnight Oil? Look at him. He was part of the Green Party and then he, then he joined the Australian Labour Party and when he got in he was singing songs like about the Aborigines and and he was singing songs like U.S. air bases. Well, as soon as he gets into power in government, right, he says, oh, I believe in the ANZUS alliance and the U.S. base should stay and the Americans are our friends, they should stay here. And then he goes and sells all the Aboriginal tribal lands to the mining corporation. Huh? Jesus Motherfucker. You know, I mean, I can't see one example. Look at Bono. I can't see any... I can't think of anybody more corrupt than this man. This man who... The Wall Street Journal listed 10 ways how Bono could have alleviated poverty. He's made one billion in his life. He's tried to become head of the IMF and with his latest, he's, he's just had, got 180 million from various celebrities. Not one penny of that has gone to the recipients in his charity. Not one penny, not even 1% of it. You know, it's a tax write-off. Yeah. And, and he, he just struts around, he's just so arrogant. In the time where people have so little it's obscene taking his picture with people like, with people like, uh, corrupt people like Bill Gates, who's the, uh, the, uh, the biggest sponsor of Monsanto, you know, and, and upstaging the G8 meeting uh, by having his photograph taken with Blair and all these other war criminals. You know, I, I think he's a fucking disgrace. I think this guy, he, he struts around thinking that he's a spokesman of our generation. And I'd just like to say, you're not, you motherfucker, you Irish piece of shit. Uh, I hope your head ends up in the basket where it belongs, motherfucker. So I don't like him either. And as for that other bloody Irishman, Geldof, he, yes. a month ago, he was in the first class lounge at British Airways. And he insisted on boarding the plane before the, all the other first class passengers. Man of the people. Huh? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Scum. And that guy, you know, he makes that, he's so left winged, Geldof. I remember when he came to New Zealand, he was, um, he, 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 he was um, slagging off uh, another musician for being reactionary. And look at, look at how he lives. I mean, he just thinks he's um, a statesman. He's, he's just disgusting. Like I say, I can't think of any example of a musician who's so, ever done anything good. So you won't be going into politics? No, I don't think so. I think the most revolutionary act we could um, contribute to would be um, food production and education. And of course the environment, above everything. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.